Welcome students and families to the 2014-2015 school year. My name is Scott Worthing and I am the director here at King Chavez Arts and Athletics Academies. My name is Shelly Baca and I am the vice principal at King Chavez Arts and Athletics Academy. We have prepared a short presentation explaining the most important aspects of our school. Please enjoy and if there are any questions about the video, please ask your child's classroom teacher. King Chavez before and after school programs are available for students throughout the week. Some of these opportunities include prime time before and after school care, a wide variety of clubs that include academic interventions, sports, visual arts, and broadcasting. At King Chavez, safety is our number one priority. In an effort to keep every student and staff member safe, we ask that guests visiting our campus check in at the main office. You will be asked to show photo ID prior to a visitor badge being issued. Please keep your visitor badge visible throughout your entire visit and return it to the front office as you depart. This will ensure that unwanted guests are not present on our campus, jeopardizing everyone's safety. Every staff member receives disaster preparedness training prior to the start of the school year, and a follow-up training is provided throughout the year. Students also practice fire, earthquake, and lockdown drills throughout the year so they are prepared in the event of an emergency. Every classroom and student space on our campus has an emergency bin that includes food and water, as well as first aid supplies. Towards the end of last school year, we added many changes to our drop-off and pick-up procedures that we are continuing this school year. The procedures are intended to keep everyone safe, along with keeping traffic moving to reduce wait times. In order to achieve this, please follow all laws, stay off your cell phone, and slow down around our school. All traffic entering our driveway must go from south to north along 31st Street. The alley between our school and K Street is a no standing or parking area. You will notice that the signs here have changed and are a bus lane only and no longer a three minute waiting area. The area on both sides of the driveway entrance is a red zone, so please no parking. You will notice large white numbered lines in the driveway area and those are marked so we can fit the maximum number of vehicles as possible. Please pull all the way forward to the furthest available line. If you see someone is about to pull forward, wait a second and pull forward after they move. When exiting the driveway, it is a right turn only. All of this helps keep wait times to a minimum. If your child is not present in your predetermined area, please go around the block and try again. We have added lots of three minute loading zone parking if the driveway is full. So please do not block the driveway. When walking to and from school, we ask that you follow a few simple rules to keep everyone safe. Always use a sidewalk and pay attention, especially when crossing the entrance and exit of the driveway. Do not cut through the driveway as this is unsafe for us, our small children. If you need to cross 31st Street, always use the crosswalk. The parking around our school is very limited. If you are planning on picking up your child from the classroom or have a meeting to attend, please arrive early to find parking. The area that is coned off is reserved for disabled persons and guests of our school. Not even the principal can park here. Thank you in advance for keeping our students and families safe. Students who are not registered in prime time should not be dropped off before 7.30 a.m. At 7.30, the gates will be opened and staff members will be present to supervise students. The first bell will ring at 7.55 and students will line up at their classroom pole to meet their teacher. The official school day starts at 8 a.m. and every student will be provided breakfast in the classroom. School concludes each day at 3 p.m. except on Wednesdays and parent conference weeks when school will end at 12.30. Attendance is very important and is directly linked to academic success. Please plan all vacations during brain breaks or over school holidays. Missed days can never be recovered and those days will be unexcused. Students in arts and athletics will be released from the gates in the front of the school. Students can meet parents in the front or walk home. Any individual picking up a student during school hours must be on the emergency card and have a photo identification. Please keep all your phone numbers up to date in the front office so we'll be able to reach you if needed. Parents or guardians that wish to volunteer on our campus or accompanying a student on a field trip must be on the volunteer list. Information packets are available in the front office at any time. Please keep in mind that all volunteers must have a T 
TB test on file and it could take up to two weeks to be placed on the approved volunteer list. Please plan for this in advance. School uniforms must be worn to school Monday through Thursday and on all school field trips. Uniform shirts can be purchased in the main office for $7. Parents and guardians are responsible for providing tan or khaki bottoms, which include shorts, pants, and skirts. Blue jeans are not acceptable, and Friday is a free jest day. Shoes must be closed-toed, and a rubber sole is preferred. These are acceptable examples. Teachers will gather shirt sizes within the first few weeks of school so that each student can receive the uniform shirt free of charge. Chips, soda, candy, toys, electronic devices, and cell phones are not allowed during school hours. The school is not responsible for these items if lost or stolen. If these items are seen, they will be taken and a parent or guardian will have to pick them up on the student's behalf. King Chavez is committed to providing a school environment that promotes and protects student health, well-being, and ability to learn by supporting healthy eating and physical activity. Children need access to healthy foods and opportunities to be physically active in order to grow, learn, and thrive. Good health fosters student attendance and education. New this year, we will be limiting celebrations that involve food during the school day to no more than one party per class month. Each party should include no more than one food or beverage that does not meet nutrition standards for foods and beverage sold individually. Please coordinate the celebration with your child's classroom teacher. Instructional minutes are our priority and the office staff is instructed to not allow any unplanned drop-offs of food or drinks, so please plan accordingly. The administration will approve up to four events each year outside of this policy for special events. No more. Communication is important to us at King Chavez. Each Tuesday afternoon, your student will receive a blue communication folder full of important information and upcoming events. Please make it a priority to look through this folder each week and return it with any necessary documents. We encourage you to visit our website for upcoming events, pictures of student events, and learn more about our school. Important reminders and announcements may occasionally be sent by our automated telephone system. In the case of an emergency, it is important that we are able to communicate with families quickly. Messages may be sent by automated phone call or made available on our website. Please keep all numbers updated in the front office so that you do not miss important information and for the safety of your student. We look forward to an exciting school year full of opportunities to serve our students, families, and community. We encourage you to become more involved in your child's education and hope you will join us throughout the year at our Coffee with the Directors meetings, weekly PTO meetings, as well as our many exciting events throughout the year. Thank you for taking the time to get to know us and our school a little better. We look forward to getting to know every student and family throughout the year and encourage you to communicate any questions or concerns that you may have now or in the future. Welcome to King Chavez and to the 2014-2015 school year.